Hey, what's up boys and girls? I'm um, just going to do an update here on uh, my lizard den. Um, since it's a little bit, uh, well, not really overrun, I guess. There's more people that out there that have way more lizards than I do, but four for me is uh, kind of crazy. So, anyways, I'm going to start here um, with Safira, which I again had to remove her from Thor's enclosure because he was chasing her and picking on her and uh, so yeah anyways she is in this 20 gallon which is totally fine because she's really small anyways so it's pretty much perfect for her and uh, she's sleeping she was really stressed out they were both really stressed out um, so I'm glad I finally moved them um, there she is say hi Sapira Pretty girl. She is the, um, for those of you that haven't seen my lizards before, she is a female translucent leatherback bearded dragon. She is mm, a month and a half old or something like that. Uh, she's five, uh, five and a half inches long, only six grams, so she's a really small little girl. But, uh, oops. You can see her nice colors and such. And she's just in a little setup with uh, that skull that she likes. Just a fake cactus, a water bowl, and a basking spot. So that's Sephira. Um, over here, back to my crickets. There's about 300 in there. Uh, nothing too exciting. Um, some of them keep escaping. As you can see, there's one right there. This is my timer power bar it turns off all my daytime lights um, at 8 30 at night and turns them back on at 8 in the morning automatically so I don't have to do it okay uh, we will skip those two for now and go over here which I don't think it's gonna really matter because uh, Spyro's hiding but this is Spyro I had to move her into a, this 10 gallon because I had to put Saphira in the 20 because bearded dragons need a cool side and a hot side and um, this tank was too small to kind of regulate that properly whereas this leopard gecko just needs one heat lamp so anyways uh, let's see if I can find out where she's hiding um, she might be in her cave. I'll see if I can get her out. Just, uh, bear with me here. She was out. I don't, but not so much anymore. And this is the, uh, leopard gecko that went missing for five months and then miraculously appeared a couple days ago. Oh, there she is. Um, she was skinny and like just not really feeling the love, but she's doing way better now. So, we'll zoom in on her. She's gotten fatter. She still needs to gain a little weight. Her tail's not as thick as it should be and all that, but yeah. So that's uh, Spyro, the left gecko. And uh, same thing, just a little simple. She's got a basking log, a water dish, and then of course this that she always, oops, sorry, just a sec here, hides in, but I'll eventually, when I build another enclosure for Saphira, another big one, I'll put her back in the 20 gallon, but she'll be okay for now. Um, yeah, so that's Spyro, she's about six months old maybe, uh, she was missing for five months, and I had her for like two weeks before she got out and she was still a baby when I got her so I'm just sort of guesstimating about uh, six months. There she goes back into her hide. Um, moving on to Thor. He's been really stressed out. Um, he's really dark and just hating life. Um, I think it's because I had Saphira in there and he just didn't enjoy it but yeah you can tell just by looking at him he looks really unimpressed he's all dark and like he should have a white belly and everything and be relaxed but he's not and his back is dark and but anyways that's Thor he is a, a tiger um, leatherback bearded dragon 
I think. Um, he's about four to five months old. He's about six and a half inches long. And he's 16 grams. Um, yeah, he's pretty small still. But that's Thor. And he's got uh, a basking log and just some regular stuff. Water dish over there, salad over there. This little tree thing. He likes to sleep on this cactus. But yeah, so that's Thor. And moving on to the newest addition, who I got yesterday, um, is this guy here, which we've called Yoshi. But, uh, <laughs> hi bud. I think he's a she. I'm gonna grab him in a second there and stick his underside up to the camera so you guys who are more professional than I am can give me a 100%, but I'm about 95% sure that it's a female, so Yoshi's name will be changing to something else. I just haven't decided what yet. Um, he is, uh, or she, is a regular bearded dragon, but I think she's a German giant because she's about uh, six months old and she's 10, uh, 10 inches long and uh, she's much thicker than Thor. As you can see, um, if I put him and her in my hand, she takes up like my whole hand, right? Uh, she's really yellowy and brown. Nothing like she doesn't have as vi as vibrant colors as Thor and Sephira, but I think she's pretty cool, or he or it, whatever. And he's got that really. Uh, if I can get a picture of it, really orange eye. Yeah. So if you can tell me the morph that this is. Um, claws are mm, not clear. So, oops. Yeah. So I don't think it's a hypo or anything like that. But anyways, let's see if I can get a... See if I can... Okay. Oh. He's like, stop it. Okay. So, that's the underside of Yoshi. And I'm pretty sure that it's a girl, because there's just that one bump there. There's no things on the side. So, what do y'all think? Girl, for sure? Come here. Um, let me know. Zoom in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Calm down. Yeah, anyways, um, he, she is in Sephira's old enclosure for now, um, basking log. I put this board in there because I noticed that he, I don't have any hides big enough for him or her, so I put that board in there because he was digging last night and he, uh, here, I better show this, he's pretty, um, if you can see, if you can see in there. There's kind of a little hole that was dug there. That's where he slept last night. But anyways, a uh, water bowl, salad. I don't think he will climb on that, but he can. It's pretty safe. I'll eventually get something that looks no more uh, natural, but for now that'll do. So yeah, basking light, daytime light. Uh, yeah, anyways, that is an update on my lizards and my lizard room. Well, basement. I'm going to build another enclosure the same as these two for Sephira, and it's going to go in this space where she is right now. But uh, it'll be a little while before I get that. But for now, I think she's okay in that because it's she's small and it's not very big, so it gives her a perfect amount of space to run around in and stuff. But yeah, so that's my update. This is a really long video. Um, but anyways, all right, peace.